Look at this old soda ad to here. I've never heard of these guys. Hires, hairs, since 1876. Wow. I'm thinking that's original. It looks really weathered. Could be something that they found and kind of touched up as well, but it, I don't know. The paint looks pretty old. 18, whoop, 1876. Wow. That's pretty darn cool. Drink hairs. Looks like maybe it was an orange, orange soda. Oh no, root beer. Huh. I'm gonna have to look that up. Pretty cool. So we are entering the historic Brooklyn neighborhood and if you can see up top there, they've actually got the house and a train as well on the signage. Pretty cool. All right, I hope you guys can hear me. We're making our way up Powell, we're on 7th. And this is right before you get to the Ross Island Bridge, so it's pretty loud. I'm gonna wait till we get up here a bit, and then I'll uh, show you guys what we creeped up here for today. I'm pretty excited, actually. It's gonna be cool. And the history behind it is really, really awesome. I'm walking up Pal here, and it's pretty darn busy, loud-wise, with the cars, because we're about to hit the Ross Island Bridge, so once we get up here a ways, I'll chime back in and show you guys what we're here for. All right, you guys, we made it. Right here is the beautiful, yet kind of creepy, Polson House. And if you guys can believe, well, based on the architect, you can tell, they just don't make places like this anymore. But this was actually constructed in 1890, and it's just absolutely beautiful. And what makes this house interesting, a lot of folks know it as the Polson House, but I, for one, will always remember it as A.A. A. Hoover's house, the Donut King. That's right, the Donut King of Portland lived right here for many of years and how he established that name was the gentleman sold donuts he would actually travel all through portland um this was you know way back before food carts there was markets and in these markets mr hoover would sell his milk and honey style kind of old school fashion donuts um, which was actually handed down by another gentleman, I will have to insert his name here, who originally sold the donuts and, and basically made a name for himself with all the uh, like little markets and shops throughout downtown Portland and all over Oregon, really. Uh, back then, you could find his milk and cookie style donuts. But right here behind me, the Donut King of Portland. That's right. And I've actually gotten some pictures that I will try and show you guys of the inside online. Uh, but for many years, this was the home to a man that made a de definitely a, a well-known name for himself. And he, if you know me, I love donuts. And so basically to have your nickname be King the Donut, you know, be dubbed the Donut King in my book, that is pretty darn cool. Um, not to mention the Victorian style architect and I love the witch's hat on top and if you look really close there's even like a little little weather little weather vane I think they call them right on top there and I would love 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 to see the view from up there what it looks like out onto Portland you would really be able to see downtown really well. From over here, you can see what the view would kind of be like, but more up top. Another interesting fact about this place, oh, not to mention, look at this parking structure that it kind of kind of rests on. It's got its own cul-de-sac, I think is what it's called, would be called. Uh, but just directly on the opposite side of the Ross Island Bridge, there was actually two of these properties built originally 
and one being demolished uh, years ago with the with the freeway being construed but there was an identical house constructed right around the same time so at one point there was two of these and from up top there if the other house was just right on the other side you probably would have been able to wave to each other from the little balcony area but that is just so cool to me and i just love like i said i just love this house it's so beautiful and and also very creepy at night i could see where <laughs> a lot of folks over the years may have said it was haunted so pretty darn cool though the donut king right here aa hoover donut king he built his fortune on donuts and and in the beginning he was an errand boy for dresser and co grocery store in the 1890s after a year he had saved enough to open a small shack selling boston brown bread and cookie made milk and honey donuts that were very popular during the wheat rationing of world war one the king's donuts were composed of alternative flowers donuts to victory by the end of world war one um, he was wealthy enough to not only purchase the mantis, but he was also on his sixth Studebaker. So the dude definitely uh, had a good good thing going for him. Um, he had had the donut, uh, basically the monarchy, if you will, passed down by Hoover um, from, oh, I'm sorry, passed down from a gentleman by the name of Hoyt Lesher in 1909. And in 1905, he had his donuts in nearly every concession stand at the Lewis and Clark Centennial Expo, as well as, as restaurants and many hotels around Portland. And two years after marrying Portland pioneer daughter Catherine Rose Platts, Lesher sold his donuts empire to Hoover and the couple moved to California. So he he basically had it going for Marletti because of Hoyt Lesher selling all of his donuts around town, gave Hoover the one in, kind of a foot in the door already and then coming through with such good, you know, old school style milk and honey donuts, uh, basically created a huge fortune for him, you know, way before Voodoo Donuts was even a glimmer in anybody's eye or any of the other places that we're spoiled with around town with all the donuts. The Donut King himself. Wow, that is so cool to me. And this is basically as far as we're gonna be able to go, as you can see here, it's it's gated off but i wanted to actually show you guys the address here 3040 mclaughlin boulevard and then also there is a historical registration here this property has been placed on the national register of historic places by the united states department of interior the Poulsen house 1892 okay well i guess i was two years early and it looks like this placard has seen better days as well but as you can see, you go up this set of stairway here, all the way up inside there, and they've got that beautiful front porch. Um, and they've even got a P here on the gate, which is pretty darn cool. And then as you see, this kind of wraps around here. And you can see the intricate woodworking up there too. It's just beautiful. But I like how this kind of wraps around kind of see off into downtown Portland a little bit better and I imagine the view is just spectacular from up top there but here it is in all of its glory you guys the Polson house Ooh, I love this tree here it kind of gives it a and I pardon the, the cars we are on a main main freeway here Here's, I believe, one of the garages. And at one point, it looks like it may have had a cover over it up top here. You can see the other one still does. But you can tell this is really old, too, all this stone, stone work. So no much of a carport anymore. But there you have it. The creepy yet beautiful Paulson home. I wish I could get up closer for you guys. Um, but from what I read online, I don't even think anybody resides here. I think they're actually in the process of actually selling this place. But I like how it's got this little wraparound area here. 
pretty darn cool. And like I said, definitely just a beautiful home. I'd love to see what the, uh, the view looks like. It's gotta just be spectacular from up top there. But this is probably the best shot right here from this side. All the way back, you can see just how amazing it is. <laughs> Had to get the good thumbnail for the for the clip here, or for you know the thumbnail for the video. And I thought, what's the best place, probably other than an actual functioning donut shop, to inhale a good donut early in the morning? here at the Donut King house, and I brought a donut. So may as well take a big bite and pay our homage and respect to the Donut King. Not bad. Probably not as good as the Donut King's donuts himself. Obviously they were good, look at this place. Made a fortune selling donuts. Nice and thought, heck it. I'm gonna bring a donut along. And this is just from the little market down the road. I just picked up a couple Hostess donuts. So definitely not as good probably as the Donut King. But I wanted to, I don't know, just kind of soak in the, you know, win in Rome moment. Eat a donut at the Donut King house. Portland, Oregon, right off McLaughlin. I love you guys very much for always creeping with make sure you guys give it a big thumbs up if you did enjoy the vlog make sure you ring that bell down below that way when I creep for really awesome and unique homes oh in fact there's a whole playlist down below of homes that we visited all over Oregon that are interesting weird creepy and cool make sure you guys ring that bell that way when I creep you guys will be the first to creep from the Donut King house creeper out for now peace Check out this mural here, you guys, over this fence. Can't really get in there too close, but if you can see right about where that kid is pointing, that's it, right there. We were just right there. That is so cool, I never noticed that little, I noticed this big mural before, but I never noticed the Polson house right up top there, or the Donut King house rather. Pretty darn cool.